Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're going to try Un Jardin sur le Nil by Hermès. So, we got a nice little bottle like this. Came in that little box right here. I did the unboxing already when I reviewed Un Jardin sur la Lagune. So, if you want to see the whole unboxing, it's not an unbox but unboxing is just like undo the box and show you what's inside. Well, go see that video. So let's try the smell. It's really fresh, picking up some citrus, some orange, a lot of orange. There was not much orange on my skin. Um, a lot of orange, a little bit of grapefruit, a little bit of tomato, a little bit of carrot also. There's some kind of aquatic green smell to it. I know there's bulrush, might be lotus also. Maybe iris, a little mix of all of this. That's about it. My skin and the top nose was picking up a lot of grapefruit and a lot of tomato. A good amount of mango, a little bit of bulrush, a little bit of carrot, a little bit of yacinth, a little bit of iris, and a little bit of incense. In the heart notes, I was picking up a good amount of lotus, a little bit of tomato, a little bit of bulrush, a little bit of carrot, a little bit of orange, a little bit of yacinth, a little bit of iris, a little bit of incense, and a little bit of cinnamon. And in the base note, I was picking up a good amount of incense, a little bit of iris, a little bit of musk, a little bit of labdanum, and a little bit of cinnamon. I need to say the iris in this fragrance is not some kind of creamy or makeup -y iris. It's really more like a delicate flower kind of note. Projection is pretty good. A little bubble around me, people were able to pick it up. And actually an extended bubble, a good six feet, I would say people were able to pick it up. And longevity was really good. It was over 12 hours. And for the complete note breakdown, top notes are grapefruit, green mango, tomato, and carrots. Heart notes are lotus, bulrush, orange, yasin, and puny. And the base notes are musk, iris, incense, labdanum, and cinnamon. And where I would see this fragrance, I would say it's really nice and natural. It feels really summery, but it projects a lot. So I would say it will be good as an elegant fragrance, like a business fragrance, or on the elegant side, not much on the masculine side. But it's something that will be easy to dress up as a dating fragrance could work especially maybe in spring it makes more of a fresh fragrance so when the weather is still kind of cool but it's getting better could be a great fragrance and if you go on a date in those setting would do a good job in the summer winter spectrum as i said it will be good as a spring fragrance according to me it might be a bit intense for summer but it smells doesn't have that harsh syrupy synthetic note that some fragrance has i mean not at all so could work in summer projections seem to be working in winter also but it wouldn't be too good but it should work and i would say it smell fresh almost summery it smells what i think of spring so i think it would be a good spring fragrance and it's really where i would see that that fragrance at its best is just wearing it as in spring if you're someone that like fragrance for the art of fragrance it's really unique fragrance and it will be a great fragrance to take out of the shelf and wear it during spring and as an everyday scent i think it could work uh, it's fresh it's nice it's unique the way it's made but it's not something weird or anything it's something that will be appealing for a lot of people so will work well as an everyday scent and the only thing i would say is that the, i think those fragrances are pretty expensive or can be pretty expensive for some people so maybe that wouldn't be such a good fragrance to just empty a bottle every year. But definitely it would work. If you don't mind the price, then it would be a good everyday fragrance. In the end, I think it's really nice. Of the three that I tried, I would say it's the one that marked me as the most interesting and most complex and the best. It makes sense that it's this one that is the most talked about usually. And that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If it's the case, well, like and share if you're a big fan of Hermès. Tell me what you think about them and what is your favorite fragrance at all from the brand. So, thanks for watching and see you soon.